Hey guys, Matt here with RCRV, and today we've got a special episode for you guys. We're doing not one, but two RV walkthrough and reviews. So if you guys are just joining us for the first time, first of all, we wanna say welcome. Thanks for checking out our channel. We are a group of part-time RVers with full-time jobs showing you just how much fun you can have even if you're just part-time RVing. All right, so first we're gonna start with our camper and then Alfredo and Anto are gonna show you their fifth wheel. This is gonna be really cool because you can compare a travel trailer and a fifth wheel all in one video. So our RV is still a mess. I have not cleaned it since our beach trip. If you guys haven't checked out that video, we will link it at the end of this video. So please excuse the mud and mess. We still have to clean the outside of this. So our travel trailer is a 2020 Cherokee 304BH. It's made by Forest River. The total length is 34 feet. Now when you talk about specifically travel trailers, the length can get a little tricky. So 34 feet, is the actual box. This part of the box to the end of the box is 34 feet. But a travel trailer, you have several measurements. So from tip to tail, we're actually 37 feet. So it's a very long trailer. Some numbers on the RV. We have a GBWR of 11,200 pounds. The cargo carrying capacity is 2,500 pounds. And the dry weight without anything loaded in it is 8,500 pounds. No, 8,600 pounds. So it's a pretty heavy travel trailer. As far as capacities, we run two propane tanks, 20 pound tanks. We have one battery hooked up to the rig. So let's talk tank capacities. Our fresh water is 46 gallons. Our black water is 38 gallons and our gray water is 38 gallons. So pretty average size tank capacity for a travel trailer. Let's take a look at the outside of the rig. And technically, babe, since I'm Matt and we're doing a review, this is like Matt's RV reviews, right? That's right. Yeah, no, there's only one Matt's RV reviews. We're not gonna steal his thunder. So, but I think we will steal his idea. We'll do at the end, three things we like and three things we don't like, because that's a great idea. Yeah. So starting at the front of the rig here, this is your basement compartment. Now I will say on the 304BHs, you do not have pass-through storage. So loading stuff in and out, especially when you're hooking and unhooking is a little bit tricky because you do have to step over the hitch when you're coming in and getting stuff that you need, especially at a dump station. But it is very big and spacious. It just does not have pass-through storage. And the reason is because when you see inside the layout, your water heater is actually on the other side so they have it a partition so that you can't get down there. This is your black tank flush. This is your emergency access port. So if your slides ever stop working with a hydraulic system, you can stick it in there and you can actually crank your slides closed. I think most rigs actually have this. Coming down, so this was one of the concerns of our RV. So it does have opposing slides on the inside because it has a kitchen island. So this is actually your refrigerator and stove that comes out and opposes the dinette. It gives you a lot of space inside. The downside to that though is your RV awning and this was kind of a concern for us. This will highly depend on how you guys RV. We do not spend a lot of time sitting in the chairs in the sun, trying to get out of the sun. So not having a wide awning really wasn't a deal breaker for us. But if that's your style of camping, if you guys like to be able to sit out and people watch in the campground out of the sun, this would be something to consider because it does take up quite a bit of space under the awning. Now, that being said, I mean, you probably still have a good six feet, but you don't get the whole awning. So something to keep in mind. Uh, but for us, it wasn't a deal breaker. This was one of the selling points that we loved about this RV though. It does have an amazing outdoor kitchen. So you have both a refrigerator and freezer. I'll tell you that we, we don't use the freezer too much really. Uh, last minute stuff we put in there and like ice cream cake for somebody's birthday we had to put in there. But other than that, we don't use it. I mean, all our food that we bring to cook, we store inside in the indoor freezer. Uh, I love the sink. We use this all the time, and it did come with the ice maker. We didn't install this. Forest River actually provides this ice maker when you buy the camper. Now, it's there's no water line to this. The cool thing about these is you all you do is you actually open it up and you fill the water inside, and then it starts making ice. As the ice melts, 
it melts down into the water tray and then the recirculation just remakes more ice until all the water's out. So it's really cool. And then you have some more storage above to be able to put uh, whatever you want. We, you can see what we put in there, but you can use that for whatever you'd like. On the back of the rig here, uh, it does come with a cargo rack. And the cool thing about this rack is you can put up to 300 pounds. Now, 300 pounds does include this spare tire, which is, is pretty heavy. So that's gonna chew away at some of that 300 pounds. So you're probably looking at a little over 200 pounds uh, as far as cargo carrying capacity. We have tried to put bicycles on here. It's not quite wide enough to get a bicycle on here. Well, it, it's wide enough to get a bicycle. We had to get four bicycles. I think the max we've squeezed on here is three, but then you run into the problem of the handlebars bumping the window. It just, it's just not wide enough. What it does come in great for is we have one of those mobile uh, dump tanks. You can dump your gray or your black tanks into these little mobile tanks and, and drive them to the dump station. We have used this a couple times to strap that down to it when we're traveling, which is really good. I also have seen people put generators on the back of here, because probably would try to lock it up somehow, but it will carry that and it's great for that. Bikes, not so much. All right, the total slides, we have three slides on this camper. So in the front, this is a super slide, and that's actually the opposing slide to the kitchen slide we just showed you. This here is the bunkhouse. So it does have a separate room in the back of the camper, and this is part of the bunkhouse slide that slides out to give you that space for the bunk beds in the back. Now this camper does have two waste gates because there are two gray tanks. So you have a galley gray tank and you have a bathroom. So the outdoor kitchen and the indoor kitchen, whoo, let me not fall off the cliff here. <laughs> the outdoor kitchen and the indoor kitchen are on one gray tank. And then the bathroom, shower, and the bathroom sink will be on a separate gray tank. And this is one of the things I don't really care for. Back here under that small bunkhouse slide is the first gray tank wastegate for the galley kitchen. And then you have another one here under this slide, and this is your main wastegate. This dumps the bathroom gray, and this also dumps your black tank. So at a dump station, there's a little extra work because typically we have to dump these, and then we have to go disconnect the hose here, run it to the second gray tank, and dump that one. So it is a little bit of extra work to dump, but I guess that's the price you pay to have an outdoor kitchen. Right here are your city water connections. This is your outdoor shower. And then it does have a six gallon gas electric water heater. All right guys, so that's the outside of the camper. Now we're gonna go take a look at the inside. Hi, I'm Paola with RCRV. Let me show you around the kitchen so you can see what we have here. So right here we have the freezer. The top part is the freezer. The bottom is the refrigerator. It's a little bit empty because we're in the last day of camping, so we're almost out of food. So we have a nice coffee maker, coffee, the oven and the stove, the stove and the oven, the microwave is in the bottom. I don't like this too much because it's down below. I prefer to have it on the top, but it is what it is. Right here, right here we have our island. We have... Um, three drawers here where I keep the knives and extra stuff. Right here we have the silverware and more storage. Now, underneath the sink, I have my trash can, which I love to be able to keep the trash here and extra bags and cleaning supplies that I keep here. So, um, right here is the pantry where I keep all the dry stuff and extra storage on the bottom as well. And that's the kitchen. Um, right here, right next to the door, we have our extra storage where I keep extra plates and utensils and a little mini bar inside. And uh, waters, more drinks, cups, extra plastic. Um, so let's go to the bathroom. So here's the bathroom, uh, toilet, sink, the shower and the medicine cabinet too. And this has access to their bedroom, their master bedroom. So like you see, same, we have storage right here in our closets, 
extra on the top. Matt has his side the same on that corner. So we have two entrance, one from the bathroom and one on Matt's side. So if you come around this way, So we have our beautiful living room, couch, we keep extra storage here where we have all the chairs that we keep outside and, and more toys for the kids. In the dinette, we have two big drawers where we keep the cleaning supplies, vacuum and mops and medicine, extra medicine cabinet and more of the kitchen supplies here, Nintendo stuff for the kids. Back on that corner, that's what I have the extra linen for uh, extra uh, covers, just in case I have to set up this dinette as a bedroom, as a bed, I'm sorry, as a bed. That's where I have extra sheets and covers. This is the kids bunk room. So this is Sabrina's bed. This is a trifold couch that turns into a full bed. And uh, the cool thing is like whenever you wanna, you can pick this up and you can sit here, enjoy it as a nice area for the kids to play and goof around. Um, we keep our hamper here. Harley's bed that for the day goes here. Now we have this extra bed here. And under here, we have a ton of storage where I keep, um, extra towels for we go to the beach or the pool, uh, the tackle box for my kids to go fishing, extra um, blankets when it's cold. And this is Nika's bed. So Nika sleeps here. This is extra for, I guess sometimes Harley too, because he likes to go in the bed. Their closet are right here. This is perfect space, a lot of space for both. So each have their own closet. So Brandon and Nico. And so that's it. This is our whole camper. We have a lot of light here. Sunlight here, extra ventilation here, and beautiful windows. Hey guys, this is Alfredo from RCRV. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you the camper we have. It's a 360A MBI Cougar made by Keystone. All right, so we're gonna give you a little tour about the camper. We have a front storage. This is pretty much where we have the spare tire, as you can see. We have anything you don't mind that get wet. That's what we keep on the front. And then we're gonna show you the little compartment that we have on the sides. We have a, a drive-through compartment. It goes all the way from one side to the other side. So on this side, we have a little grill, made by Capital Grill. We don't use it too much. I was thinking to put in the future something else here, maybe like a little freeze or, or something else. But honestly, we don't use it. We just, we don't think it's good enough. We like the stairs on the camper. They're really firm. So something we like about the camper is we have two awnings with lights. I believe this one is 20 feet long. And this one on the back is about 14 or 15 uh, feet long. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure that's the side. But pretty much we have the whole camper under shade. So that's a good thing about the camper. So I wanna give you a little tour on the back side of the camper. Something I don't like about the camper, believe it or not, is the way where they connect the cable. This became really awkward, especially if you have a bike rack. It just became in the way. It's really hard to block the cable and unplug the cable. I wish they put in someone else, but that's the way the camper came, so I'm okay with that. On this side, this is where we have the connection for, for fresh water. It's okay, I wish the outlet from the 50 amp cable was connected on this side, instead of that side. On this side, we have three slide outs. All right, so something else I like about this camper is uh, we don't have two sewer pipes. We only have one connection. And when you're going and you don't have full hookup, actually it becomes really good for you. I know some campers like Matt Camper, 
he has two sword connection and if you do a body side camping it becomes challenging <laughs> to, to dump water so it's just less hassle it's something that we like this is probably the loudest furnace ever <laughs> it's super loud we don't we don't hear inside but i know some people complain they say wow <laughs> it, it's really loud it sounds like a jet engine <laughs> yeah it sounds really weird we have two uh propane tank they're uh, 40 gallons i put a gauge on both of them so i can know how much gas i have so in the winter maybe i can get maybe four days of propane on one tank so now we're inside the camper Something that we like about this camper is the view. If we don't, right now we don't have a perfect view because we don't have, we are not close to the lake or to the beach, but it's a lot of window, there's a lot of light inside. It was one of the biggest selling points for my wife. This is something that she really wants. On this side, we have a 50 inch TV. We have different storage everywhere. We have a fire pit on this side. You can either use the colors or you can use it for heat. We have a recliner seat right here. That comes with heating seat and massage. Uh, the massage is okay. I'm not going to say it's like a perfect massage, but it has it. So this couch is a sofa bed. We use a couple times for some of my nephews and niece when they came over here. Um, so something we don't like about a camper It'll be this room right here, and I'm gonna tell you why. Different brands, you know, Forest River, Keystone, they have almost same layout. If you can compare, you know, Apple to Apple, the way it look, you can find this camper, same camper, the way it look, you know, different brands. But no, they're, they're all not made the same. Even when the length is about the same, 40 feet long, uh, every single inch inside matters. So this is my daughter's room. This one has a sofa bed, but it's actually really small. My daughter is only eight years old. Eventually she's gonna grow, and this is gonna become a project. So we're thinking maybe to do like a bunk bed or something. We haven't figured out yet what we're gonna do, but this couch is gonna go out, and this is gonna be a project. So you have different storage on this side. Um, now, something we have to mention, we don't do full-time RV. Okay, we have job, we, we're going camping, you know, every two weeks. The camper is perfect for us. But if you live in a camper, you have a lot of kids, you need, I mean, you wanna be inside the camper, maybe this is gonna be a deal breaker for you. Let me show you right here. The pantry is very small, especially if you're gonna live full-time in the RV. Something that we wish we have, we only have the island right here, but we don't have kind of space, you know? So if, if the kind of space is something that you actually need because you use it every single day, this is the only thing you have and you have to live with it, you know? So we use the kitchen sometimes. This is where we have the coffee maker, um, you know, butter, you know, different things, but when it comes about canister, we don't have a lot of room. Right here, behind the TV, we have more storage. We have some storage underneath the, um, the island. But, I mean, you think about it, you know? So let me show you right here. I'm gonna go to the second floor. We have like a little hanger for, for sweaters and things like that. We have a little this is kind of like a, a queen side uh, mattress on the left. Over here we have the eye command. Um, you can control the whole camper from this side. Uh, you can use your cell phone or you can really use this tablet right here. So something that I noticed, a lot of people that have this camper complain, if this door on the shower, if you don't lock really well, you can actually break. So this is something you have to be concerned like make sure you lock this up uh, the shower is a good sign it's a little bit wet but okay I'll, I'll do this just for you i'm gonna get in the shower i'm not gonna take the shower i'm just gonna get in the shower okay like i said so i'm six two maybe I have like another couple inches of clearance if you're like six three six four 
we have a skylight on this side and my socks are soaking wet <laughs> okay all right so let me show you the master room all right so here in the master bedroom we have an air conditioner unit um, sometimes because it can get really cold we just use the fan honestly um, we have like a little storage underneath it's not really big I just I would say maybe like six inches maybe seven inches but it's not really deep but it's enough you know for a few items that we have right here we have a little closet you can take a look we have connection for washer and dryer and then we have a little closet right here it's not really big it's just the side it's for us all right, so guys, we have the camper for four months already. We love the camper. There is few things here and there that we don't like, but every camper, there's, I don't think there is a perfect camper. If you can find a perfect camper, let me know. <laughs> we like the camper so far, it's amazing. Um, we only have a couple problems. The only one problem, actually we had a problem last week. Uh, when we open the slide out on this side, this door came open and some of the coffee cups got stuck over here and when my wife trying to open the slide out i show you everything from here to this side came out so thanks to matt he fixed it for us it looked like i mean you cannot tell there was something going on here but just be aware if you have slide out especially on this side if you want to open the slide out make sure there is nothing in between because that 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 can be a problem for you all right guys so that's the tour so now in keeping with the tradition we're going to give you three things that we like about the camper and three things that we, we don't like about don't it. like so we'll start with likes so number one outdoor kitchen love it i enjoy my outdoor kitchen during summer more so like all the time i'm cooking outside i'm it's outside all the time so outdoor kitchen is my yeah. favorite. I, uh, I like the outdoor kitchen. When we first looked at this rig I liked the outdoor kitchen but it wasn't really a selling point for me. I would say after we have this rig though uh, I, love it. I love it. It's amazing because we do spend a lot of time outdoors around the fire pit uh, with our friends. Naturally you know our CRV we're a group of campers so we do spend a lot of time outside to not than just one person's camper too much. Yeah. Uh, and that's where the outdoor kitchen really comes in handy. And also Honest. the sink though, like the kids yeah. always washing their hands outside. And you don't have to send them in. Yeah. Yeah. So I would say she really liked the outdoor kitchen. As soon as she saw that RVs had an outdoor kitchen, that was one of her boxes she needed to check. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a selling point for me. I didn't mind it. But now that I have one, it, it'll be hard to live without one. I know we've been looking at some other rigs that don't have them, but uh, the outdoor kitchen's pretty amazing. So number two. I like the island here. I love the island. I already agree with that. Kitch that eggs, kitchen yeah. island. The kitchen island is pretty amazing. I don't know so much if it's the kitchen island, but the fact that it has opposing slides just gives you just such a great sense of space in the main yeah. living area. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially for a travel trailer. I know like some fifth wheels will have opposing slides in the kitchen, but in a travel trailer to have the opposing slides in the island is pretty cool. Yeah. So it gives it space. So yeah, I agree with that one. And so number three. I will say the storage inside the rig. Like we have a lot of storage. We have a pantry on the corner, a big pantry and under the dinette and on the island too, you have like six drawers there that you can put it under the oh, stove too you can put your pots and pans um and the bunk room like a lot of storage there like under nico's bed is a lot of storage yeah so what I they like the storage inside yeah <laughs> so well, i guess what you lose outside, on the outside you get on the, you inside. Get the inside yes yeah. so that's our three likes and I, that kind of segues into three dislikes like and i will tell you that number one is lack of outdoor storage. We don't necessarily have a problem fitting everything we need to in the basement. We we pack pretty conservatively and I'm, I'm pretty organized and putting stuff in boxes. The problem I don't like is that it's not passed through storage. So when you're yeah. dumping at a dump station, you're hooked up to your truck and to get 
extra hoses or your, your hose to be able to do your black tank flush, uh, you have to step over the hitch to go around to the other side. So it's a little inconvenient. And if you need something that's all the way in the back, you have to pretty much empty the Everything. whole basement just to get to that one box that's in the back. Whereas if it was passed through, you could just go to the other side, open it and get it. So I really don't like that there's not pass through storage. If you look at the layout though, I don't know of any other way that they could have built this unit, but I do wish that it had pass through storage. Yeah. yeah. So number two, what would you say? Oh, the fact that we have to leave the bed, uh, one of the, in the kids' bunk room, like lift the bed up for us to be able to close the slide. So it's just, yeah. And the hitches are not really secure. The bottom bunk on the, on the kitchen, the outdoor kitchen side, in order to get the slide in, you have to raise the bunk. And it's got two little latches that hold the bunk up in the air. Those latches are a little hard. Like you have to hold this heavy bunk up, slide them in. I think Jayco actually makes uh, friction latches so that you just raise it up That's and better. it, oh, it yeah. auto latches and then you actually have to push it to disconnect it. This and the Forest River stuff, you have to hold it up. You have to get the hook out and slide it just like a, a fence latch almost. Uh, but the fact that you have to just raise the bottom bunk just to get the slide in, I don't think it would have been that hard to redesign it and push it in just, I, would have, I wouldn't even mind losing a little a bit little of outdoor bit of, yeah. kitchen space just to get that bunk, what would you say, it's like three inches you mm -hmm. need to cut into it and not have to do that. So it is something to remember and it's, uh, it's a little bit of a pain in the neck when we have to get ready to travel. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was a good point. And lastly, number three. Well, I love that outdoor kitchen, but I think the refrigerator is too big. I don't need the freezer side. I I don't usually use the freezer side, so I would prefer to have a little bit more counter space. So when you wash wash dishes outside, it is it gives you room to just not put a rack to dry the dishes or whatever you want. Like I think it's too close to the sink so that you, you don't have a lot of room, and then you have the ice maker, so a little bit more counter space outside for me because I do dishes outside everything outside when you cook it's just everything there so I don't I don't mind losing the freezer just keep the refrigerator part yeah I just a exist. small refrigerator you know like enough that you have your drinks waters and stuff there and but no the freezer I don't do yeah usually. I don't know anything about this dishwashing stuff yeah I, I know it. what is this dish we wash dishes yeah I thought they magically got clean uh-huh so I, I will add one then, I'll give a bonus. We like the RV because it had a shower and not a bathtub shower. Yes. But because it's a travel trailer, there's still a step up to get into the shower. And when I'm in the shower, if I'm not perfectly inside the skylight, I can't fit. I can't tell you how many times I've hit my head in the shower. Oh, I know. I heard you. I need like a lazy like... Susan so I can just stay in one place and just spin around in the shower and not be, if I walk forward, back, left, right, any anywhere outside that little square skylight, I'm cracking my head. Yeah. Uh, that in the front door, I'm always cracking my head on the front door, so. Or coming out of the bed. Yeah. Too, I don't know the solution. I, I don't want to blame Cherokee or Forest River. Uh, Anto and Alfredo, they had a Alpha Wolf travel trailer before they got their fifth wheel and it was the same thing it's actually worse than their travel trailer i think it's a symptom of travel trailers uh, and being six foot four yeah I, yeah there's i don't think no, there's a, don't know how in fact, tall you are the only <laughs> solution i know is a fifth wheel there you go so that's it guys those are our three likes and three dislikes. We're gonna throw it over to Anto and Alfredo so they can give you their three likes and dislikes of their camper. All right, guys, we're gonna share with you the things we like about the camper, things we don't like. There's three things we like about the camper, and three things we don't like about the camper. Yeah, my number one like will be the light in the camper, the windows. It is amazing to, to wake up and see everything around. The fact that the kitchen is on the opposite side of the entrance, it's amazing. I didn't know how much would impact on on, on the every morning, wow, the view, it's amazing. I love it. It's really nice to have the windows on the cam side and not on the connection side. So you have more view, more room to see the good things. All right, number two. What will be your number two? What will be my number two? You know something that I like about the camper 
is um, every time we go to different places, I feel we have some privacy. So if I wanna be in my room, you wanna be here in the kitchen, the girls wanna be in the room. It feels like you have your own house. Like it feels like wherever you're going, you have some space for you, you have some privacy. We used to have a travel trailer and whenever you get out from the room, everybody was right there. Here you can go in different places and you feel like you have your own space. So I like that about the camera. I agree. Yeah, last trip, one of the last trips we did, I had to study and I could stay in Abby's room and the girls were watching a movie and Alfredo was watching games, football game or basketball, basketball game. game. Yes. Everybody was on their own thing and nobody was bothered by the other one. So I like that. Good point. Okay, number three. Number three, what I like the best is the storage. We did not have any storage. Which is funny end. because you say you didn't like the camper because you didn't have storage. No. You say that. No, I was just confused because <laughs> our confused. pantry, the pantry I thought we were getting was a big closet on the left side of the kitchen. But then I realized that we had a pantry on the right side of the fridge and it was very tiny, long but tiny. And so I was like, oh, I was expecting the other one. I got confused in the ones we looked. So, but then once I started putting everything in there, I I figured that we had a lot. Now the thing we don't like about the camper. We did the three already. Yes. Okay. One thing I don't like about the camper is the carpet. I don't like to clean carpet, and the fact that they put keep putting carpet under the dinette is just. I don't agree with that. Why? I mean, people eat their kids make a mess, and it's hard to clean it up. And in the in the bedroom, I'd rather have just like um, vinyl, vinyl or no carpet. I'd rather have all floors, and that will be my number one. So, the number two, and for me, it's actually a big deal. Um, it's kind of like yeah, it's very uncomfortable every time we go camping. It's the connection on the 50 amp. Is located in a very awkward place, especially if you have a bicycle rack. If you want to carry a tray or something on the back, you need access. So I don't like that. I wish it was located somewhere else. I'm pretty sure if you have a 40 feet long camper, there's plenty of room to put it. So come on, make it better. Number three for you? Number three, Abby's room. I think when I figured, oh, this will work for Abby, I looked at one that was a little bigger. The slide was bigger, the couch was bigger. And for some reason I was like, okay, that's the same one. But then when we when we got it, I realized it wasn't the same. It was a little smaller. So it's a little uncomfortable to be unfolding and folding every day and making the bed every day. But it's not a big deal. She loves it for now. Eventually maybe we'll have to figure out something, but it works for now. That will be my number three. I agree with you. So thanks for watching guys and leave us a thumbs up and give us some comments. If you enjoyed this, please consider to subscribe to our channel. We would love to hear from you and we'll see you soon.